Maths anxiety doesn't happen in isolation. It's related to all sorts of attitudes, for instance. Let's take things like perceived importance of maths, its value to the real world. That is often correlated with self-reported maths anxiety. Maths anxiety is also associated with perceived enjoyability of mathematics, or even its kind of intrinsic value. So therefore, when we're trying to address maths anxiety, we need to also look at those related attitudes. One of the largest predictors of current levels of maths anxiety is a person's math self-efficacy, or their perceived ability to succeed in mathematical problem solving. Maths anxiety becomes intertwined with all of those attitudes and self-efficacy, particularly when we start to investigate the origins of maths anxiety. For instance, we can start to look right back in time to a person's previous experience of, of maths. Is it, for instance, there's a single moment in time, a really bad experience that somebody has had, which might contribute to the later development of maths anxiety?